Okay, hi guys, Cliff back again. And I've got a little um, surprise. I was at a swap meet the other day and I bought this little aeroplane, caught my eye. And let's just buy it and put it together. Uh, I think it's quite an old model now, actually. Let me uh, point you down and you can have a look with me. Should be a quick build, I hope. It's called a MyFoss by Tech One Hobby. It's all EPP, bouncy foam. It says here that it flies a wide range of smooth and precise manoeuvres such as waterfalls, point rolls, rolling circles, snap rolls, hovering, harriet and precision FVA flying. I don't know what any of that means, so let's have a look. Okay. That's very light. It's this EPP, flexible bendy foam. Looks like, looking up at the sun, it's got two foamy spars and one, two, three, four in total foamy ribs. That weighs nothing. Fuse large, weighs a bit more, obviously. It's got a motor in the front. It's got an ESC in there. 40 amp AirTech Synergy. It's probably quite old as well. Slab sided fuselage, all EPP. Bit of fun. Tailplane. Elevators. Rudder. Rudder, big rudder. Ailerons. Wheels, tail wheel, hinges, I was wondering about those. Bit of Velcro, heat shrink, undercarriage. Some carbon. A prop, a prop adapter, they must be the wheel spats. Again, weigh nothing, as you can see. Uh, I've got, I have bought four little Tower Pro servos. On the Bay of E and the instruction book. Let's have a look, see what it says. All ready to fly, eh? Nice, right, get going. Symmetrical airfoil, wingspan 31.5 inches, 800 mil, flying weight 6.9 ounces, 8.3 with battery. Cover your work table with brown paper. Oh dear, I've gone white. Hmm. 18 amp brushless DSC. Well, it's a 40 amp. Wow. It's quite big, isn't it? I'm tempted to take that out of there and put that in another plane. And then I can put a little 2S battery in there. 800 to 1000 milliamp hour. Right. Step one, to get ready installing the servo, apply one thin rope, pull through one hole in the wing to another which is prepared for servo. Insert the wing in fuselage, measure from the tips of the wing to the rear of the fuselage, yes, yes, yes. Glue the wing to the fuselage. Servos go in the fuselage sides. Doesn't get much easier, does it? Okay, I'm gonna get some organization going here, guys, and I'll be back shortly. So what I've just done is um, push the wing in. I've got some foam safe glue and just push the fuselage sides back, ran the glue in. It's all quite flexible, so quite easy to do. Otherwise you end up with glue pushing all up the wing. So that's gonna be set in. I've also found myself a small motor. That was the one that was bolted into the model, but I've got this one, which is nearer the size they recommend. And these are quite powerful anyway. This is an Emacs CF2805, seven to nine volts, and probably half the weight of that one. So that will sit in there just nicely at the front, like that. I've glued the wing on, so we'll let that set, and I'm just gonna have a look at the tail feathers. I think um, I've got to hinge them first, we'll see. Gotta hinge the tail plane and elevator, and then glue on this piece of, underneath, glue on this piece of carbon. These are quite nice design there. Pre-angled and 
uh, cut. So I need four for the elevator. I think this model's about 10 years old actually. I found a couple of videos on YouTube which um, were that age. I think, well, perhaps one was seven years old, but it's certainly not a modern kit. I'm not expecting a, a huge performance really. Probably will, but it'd be way beyond my skill level anyway. But it'd be fun. Just throwing a model around, a bit like the mini bogger. Just chucking it around. Put that out the back and glue in the tailplane. And it might be an idea to glue the elevator on now. Put a bit of glue both sides. Have to work quick because it goes off pretty quick. Number four. Okay. Slide them on. So, okay. Now I'm going to glue the tailplane into the slot. Due to the extreme flexibility of the foam, I can just push it in and take a few liberties, really. I've just cut a pair of little one millimeter supports. So we have a quite nice tailplane. So it's coming on, chaps. Let's do the rudder. Kind of like sealed up again in working with it. Kind of like a contact glue almost. When you do that, you pull the hinges out a little bit, but it does guarantee you've got as much movement. All I'm trying to do is line up the trim lines as well. Okay, rudder's on. Okay, four dots. Right, I'm going to do all this and come back to you when it's done. Oh, we're building a little aerobatic model. Oh, and because I've lined up the pattern on the other side, I'm going to trim the end of the A-lawns there. And the carriage goes in there, like that, and then this plywood part pushes in all the way down like that. And that's it. So she's on wheels. Next job, let's have a look at these Avon servos. What I'll do is heat shrink it and then drop some CA in once I'm absolutely happy that that is in the right place. Right, I can't test this one because I'm gluing the hinge, but it's centered, that's the main thing. Uh, and I put it centered just with a couple of bits of ply either side. That's okay actually. It's a load of bucket full of throw as they say. But you need that. I'll fit the motor in and I'll come back to you in the morning I think. Cheers guys. Okay folks here we are. I've done the fitted up the other ailerons and control surfaces etc. Rudder and elevator connected up and I've put the ESC cables, a little bit of hot glue, didn't melt the foam after all, I was quite pleased. Put the ESC in there, a bit of Velcro on a bit of ply, receiver, satellite and uh, oh I've offset the motor as per instructions but the F1 had been glued in at the factory and it actually had left thrust. <laughs> so I put a couple of big washers underneath there and I've got about a degree of right thrust and about a de degree of down. So she's all ready to go there. It's 2S. Um, my chosen battery is a 1600. It's the smallest. Well, it's not actually. I, ideally, I want one of about 12 or 1000, but uh, I've got 16. But having said that, it does balance where it's supposed to balance. So a smaller battery would require weight, I guess. I've got an 8 uh, 7 by 5 prop on there. I've tried different props, but that one's a nice compromise between all the readings. So I'll just show you it running. So this goes in something like. And then the actual lead is on the outside, but I'm not worried about that.
so what can you see here we go we've got oh, I've got rates as well don't normally worry about rates but uh, today I have so ailerons uh, elevator can you see that I'm not sure you can elevator and rudder that's all on low rates high rates rudder elevator and Halon should give me a decent um, roll rate, I'm guessing. So the maiden will be on low rates, but even they're quite high, and I've got about 30% expo, which I like. So it's ready to go. Oh, show you the motor, shall I? Show you the motor. It's running, it's pulling about 100. Uh, what was it? I've got it here 170 watts per pound that's one of the lowest out of all my props actually but it's also only pulling 18 amps so that battery should last me a little while I think it'll pop hang on there let's try it oh yeah it'll pull out out my hand so that's okay um <laughs> says the expert of prop hanging <laughs> I can do it for a couple of seconds on the flight sim I always seem to fall out backwards uh, which is good training to be inverted in a panicky situation but anyway so there we are guys the Mifos uh, it's quite an old design says Superfly I don't know what it is it's a bit heavier due to the battery uh, by Tech One uh, I think it's an old kit now. Tech One Hobby, My Foss, EPP, four channel, sort of stunt plane. So we'll see how we get on with that. So there's another maiden to come. Uh, quite a pleasing looking little model. Should be quite tough. It didn't, it's, if it lasts me a few minutes, I'll have got uh, my money's worth out of it. I did get it cheap as a kit. Again, a 24 hour build, a bit like the little um, dancing wings mini bobber she's ready to go watch out for the maiden and hit the like button down below and give us a thumbs up uh, it's the same difference actually and and uh, if you want to subscribe see the maiden brilliant i'll see you up at the patch cheers guys bye 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 cheers cheers bye 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 cheers cheers <laughs>